Hey guys, how you doing? This is MMP or Fan 94 and today I'm will gladly bring you another video game uh, console review. And I'm really enjoying doing these videos. I mean, I've only brought three to the channel so far. Uh, my my channel's mainly Power Rangers and toys. But now and again, I like to do something video game related, so I love doing these videos. But today I'm going to be doing the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now, before I show you the console and play the games, I'm going to give you a little background history of the video game situation at the time. So if you go back to the 19, early 80s, 1980, mid-70s, um, the video games were like, I would I'd definitely call it the Stone Age of video games. Because it was so primitive and so early. So you had Atari, we all know the Atari 2600. It's, it's, I would love one, but trying to get one this day and age and to work with the HD TVs, it can be a bit of a nightmare, but I would eventually like to get one. So you had the, you had Atari, you had Coleco, you had Mattel, they were all making systems. So, so at one point you had the Atari 2600, you had the Coleco version made by Coleco, and then you had the Intellivision made by Mattel. And then other game systems like the Commodore 64 and there were so many games and, and companies were releasing unlicensed games and stuff to the point where there were so many games and so many systems that the video game industry couldn't happen, couldn't handle it and the market crashed. And that happened in 1982 and it was so bad, you know, I mean, they got a lot of companies and they never recovered. So if you fast forward to the mid 80s and... Um, Nintendo, and uh, Nintendo ran loose from the ashes, so they did. <coughs> they um they rose from the ashes, and um they were still about Nintendo. You know they they made games. I'm really sure they had, I'm really sure they had Mario Bros. and Donkey Kong. On on the Atari and the Quick version and the television, I'm really sure, but but they were you know they were making. But this time they decided to make their own system and they blew it out of the water completely and any other competition just blew it out of the water. And then of course that started the whole Sega versus Nintendo rivalry but that's that's another story for another day. But one day I will like to do a Nintendo versus Sega video but that's for another day. So um, Nintendo released Nintendo Entertainment System in, in, in Japan 1983 on the 15th of July. And then in America, it came out on 1985, 18th of October, 1985. And then in the UK, where I'm from, it uh, was released in 1986, on the 1st of September, in Europe and the UK. So um, that was basically when they were released. Now, the Japanese Nintendo and the, the European and uh, American Nintendos look completely different. The Europe and the United States got the classic grey box, which I will show in a minute. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you a picture of the Japanese Nintendo because you need to see it because it has a completely different design. It's a top loader design and the cartridges are completely different. So I'm going to show you that now. Well, that's the uh, Japanese uh, Nintendo. Now to show you the classic grey box. And here it is. The classic Nintendo Entertainment System. The great box that we all got, except Japan, obviously, as we've just seen. But it's absolutely amazing. If it wasn't for this wee system here, guys, you wouldn't have your Xboxes or your Playstations or your... This thing started the video game revolution as we know it today. So, absolute classic. And if you're a video game fan, it's a must. It really is a must. I mean, it's just absolute classic. And it's pretty simple too, obviously, you know, you've, you've got the power button there, you've got the reset button and you just press it and the red button comes on. And, um, obviously it takes no air fleet, but I managed to find a cartridge for it. But unfortunately, my Nintendo doesn't work too well these days. But, I've got a plan for that. Uh, last year, um, my cousin had bought me a Nintendo, Nintendo Classic for my birthday, so, um, I'm going to use it to, um, going to use it to uh, show some of the games. So what I'm going to do is I'm turning this video, it is a review of the Nintendo Entertainment System, but I'm going to show the NES Classic as well, do like a hybrid of the two. So, um, and you, you're not going to believe the size of the two. Like, Nintendo, Nintendo Classic. 
<laughs> Look at the size. It's, 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 you just can't get over the size of it. It's crazy. Absolute size is mental. So, so I'm going to play the games through this and then just show you the classic clay box. And that's really all there is too. You know, the, the scart lead and the par lead. Scart lead, RF lead, whatever. If you're in America, it would be scart lead. And if you're in the UK at the time, it was an RF lead because the UK didn't really get scart with video games to about maybe the late 90s. So that's all I have to say about the box, really. A good box and 10 entertainment system. Absolute classic. Mine does still work, but it doesn't work, doesn't, doesn't work too well. So thank goodness I've got the classic to show you the games. So we're step into the game, you open that and you put it in. Now, I do have one game, Dr. Mario. Now, it's just, I'm just showing you Dr. Mario to show you the cartridges. Classic cartridges. So. Right, that's the system. I'll show you the controller now. Now, until the Nintendo was released, the, the, the best, best we had was the, the, the Coleco and the Intellivision controllers were the biggest part of dung. So the classic Atari joystick or red button, that's the best we had. So when Nintendo released the Nintendo Entertainment System, they released the joystick, the, 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 the controller. Now, this controller revolutionized the video game industry, so it did. And then as the, as the video game industry went on and on, it got better and better, but that basically started it. As simple as two buttons, a start button, a select button, and uh, two buttons. Just absolutely amazing. I mean, I must admit now, it feels, I mean, it feels classic to play it with that controller. But it can hurt your hand sometimes because of the rectangle, the rectangle shape of it. It does hurt your hand after a while if you're playing it. Like, I mean, you know, if you're playing Mario or if you're playing a game which requires the mutton bashing, it can get quite sore. But it's still a classic design. And then later on when they released the Game Boy Advance SP and all, you could get that uh, controller design on it. So, classic. And then, they, then they improved on it with the Super Nintendo controller and so on, so on, so on. So, that's the controller. Well, that's all I really have to say about the, the look of the design of the console and the controller. So, I will now get on to testing the uh, games. And, and the games I'm going to play for you is I'm going to do the first four levels of World 1 in Mario, Super Mario Brothers. And I haven't decided what game I'm going to play with it. I'm going to look through my inventory. As I said, there's 31 ga or 30 games on the Nintendo Classic. So I'm just going to have a look and see what I'm going to do. And then I'll surprise you and play the first stage or something soon. Let's go to it and then um, enjoy the uh, enjoy the next part of the review, guys. Right, let's get stuck in. As you can see, I'm using the Nintendo Classic to show my Nintendo games for the purpose of my Nintendo review. So I'm going to start with the classic Super Mario Brothers. But before I do, I'm going to there's 30 games on the Nintendo Mini, or sorry, Nintendo Classic. So Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario Bros. 3. Techno Ball, Legend of Zelda, Zelda 2, then it's The Adventures of Link, Balloon Fight, Bobo Bobo, Castlevania, Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Do Double Dragon 2 The Revenge, Dr. Mario, Exactivite, Final Fantasy, Galaga, Ghosts and Goblins, Gradius, Ice Climbers, Kid Icarus, Kirby's Adventure, Mario Bros., Mega Man 2, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, Pac Man, Punch Out, Star Tropics, Super C, then back to Super Mario Bros. So let's get started. Now I'm just going to do the I'm just going to do the first stage. Or the first uh, first world. And try to do it by Diane. Thank you. 
Bis nächstes Tom. shortcut on this stage, which basically bypasses the stage. Now you would do this here to get to the uh, warp pipes that they take you to the different walls, 2 and 3 and 4, but for this review I'm not going to because I'm just doing wall 1. Yeah, you need to be careful doing that because you can fall off very easily and if you run too hard you can slide off the um, you can slide off the platforms. So happy days done that fight Diane. So this is the first Bowser's Castle. Now that's a mushroom. I don't need it obviously because I've got the uh, fire floor. Oh, that Belgian Castle theme tune is so iconic. Now, Belgian fires fireballs at you, so just be careful. Now, what, well, what you do, what you do whenever you haven't got the fire floor is you have to jump over them. And because I've got the fire floor, I'm just going to fire bomb the there. Well, that's Super Mario Brothers. Just thought I'd do the first world for you. So I'm going to reset the NES Classic and I'm going to try another game. I'm going to give Castlevania a wee go. So wish me luck because this can be quite a difficult game and I am not so good at hard games but I'm better than I used to be because I used to cop out and I used to cop out and play them in all in easy, easy mode but as I grew up you know I decided to play games in harder difficulties and it has made me a wee bit better at video games but I'll give this the best I can. Love the, love the music this game, see Konami games, music absolutely brilliant. Do, 
Right, well, your main weapon is your whip. Then you push it up and B to fuck you. You push up and B to fire your dagger. A lot of them things come at you far too quickly. my head on. You need to be careful when climbing the stairs because that's when you're most vulnerable. Box in this stage. Yeah, it's happy days. Okay, that can help me against the... Bars of health left. <sighs> Sweet. Right, I'm going to leave Castlevania there. And see, I'll play one more game. Let me see. Ah, I played Donkey Kong, that's a favourite of mine. And to change, you can just push select and go down the bar. Oh, 
Oh, that was close. Right, do you remember the hammer from Super Smash Brothers? If you played it, well, this is the game it originates from, and you hear the tune. Yeah, bad advice don't jump from high places, you will die. Try to grab onto the hammer. I can be quite difficult Donkey Kong, but it's a really fun game. Right, that's Donkey Kong. I have a brew, I have a wee look through here and I'll see if I'll play any more games for the video. Mega Man 2 in, because that's one of the best games on Nintendo, and the music is absolutely fabulous. So, I will do, I will, I will play Mega Man 2 and then I will do my conclusion to the video. Just listen to that music. Oh, Mega Man's classic. Oh, I love the menu music. Absolute classic. Right, you have a choice between Bubble Man, Air Man, Quick Man, Wood Man, Heat Man, Metal Man, Flash Man, and Crash Man. But I'm going to do Bubble Man. I like this one.
Dogs. Yo, I've done this dude so many times, I still fall for that. It's been a while since I played Mega Man. on trial era. Careful doing this, but you don't jump too high. Some spikes or one hit kills. I'll play double game over. Try one more time. It's all a trial and error, just take your time.
first pack and we track it. I hit those frogs. Spikes. Lucky enough, but with the lives you have, you die outside, you die just outside the boss, so just be careful you don't hit the spikes. Excellent. Sweet. Great, so that's Mega Man. So I'll just Oh, I love that music. <laughs> right, well, that concludes the gameplay of the Nintendo and the Mini and the Nintendo Classic as well, so... Right, I will shut this down and then I will give you my conclusion, so... I hope you enjoyed this part of the video. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, the three games I played, Super Mario Brothers, um, Castlevania and uh, Mega Man 2. They are three of one of the best games you can play on the Nintendo. Um, I'll maybe come back again and maybe do Zelda or Contra. But I've, as I say, I've got loads of options. So, to rate the Nintendo Entertainment System, I would definitely have to give it a 10 out of 10. Now I know I'm a huge fan of Nintendo and I love all their systems and I have all their systems sitting over there. But my reason for giving the Nintendo a 10 out of 10 is it blew the video game industry out of the water in 1980, in the mid 80s when it came out. And even to this day, nearly 35 years later, it's still an amazing system. You know, if you're a retro gamer, Nintendo is right up your street. And it's just, you know, I absolutely love it. It revolutionised the controller, revolutionised the video games. Like, Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers was the biggest selling game until uh, Wii Sports took it over. So, it's an absolutely amazing system. Definitely a 10 out of 10, no doubt. I mean, when Sega released the Master System, Nintendo blew it out of the water. To the point where Sega had to create the Sega Mega Drive to beat it. And then of course the Super Nintendo came along but that's for another story. I mean the games you have, I mean you've got Mario Brothers, you've got Metroid, you've got Zelda, you've got Contra, you've got Mega Man, you've got Final Fantasy. I mean the list goes on. It definitely has to be a 10 out of 10. I mean in this day and age now the music's not so great but 
it still holds out for 30 years. I mean, obviously, my system, I have an I have a Nintendo, as you know, as I showed you. It's 35 years old, and it definitely doesn't work so well anymore. And, you know, it was just so handy playing the, the, the NES Classic as well. It means I don't have to review it, because I've done it both in the video. And I would definitely give the Nintendo Classic a 10 out of 10 as well. The 30 games on it are amazing. Definitely get loads of gameplay value. It's HDMI, you know, and it takes the same slot as the as the Wii as the Wii slots. So you can use the classic, you can use the the the, the Wii controller for it and all. So, so the original Nintendo ten out of ten, and then the NES Classic ten out of ten. Absolutely. The only the only downside to the NES Classic is. The controller's not long enough, but that's easy fixed. You can go onto your bend, you can buy extension cables for it, which I did. I bought two so I can reach from the from my TV stand to the sofa. So that's all I really have to say on it, guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed this review because I enjoyed making it. Really did. And um, uh, Dreamcast is next. I look forward to making it. It's going to be slightly longer because I plan to do um, Sonic Adventure and I plan to do the for, for one day in Shenmue. So. I look forward to doing that. So Nintendo 10 out of 10 and the Nintendo Classic 10 out of 10. So hope you enjoyed the review guys. Again please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Um, so you'll get updates to all my videos. And um, I will see you around. Thanks for watching guys.